Hey guys, welcome to TechRoos. This is the second part of the previous video. In the previous video, we learned how to set up Nasus and make a policy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to harness the power of vulnerability reporting, how to scan a target for vulnerabilities, and a lot of good stuff. So we made a policy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use that. So the first thing you guys want to do is open up your terminals and start Nasus. To do that, type in sudo slash etc slash init.d slash nasus and start i already have it up and running so it's process id 2848 just clear this out and what you guys want to do is open up a vmware's i already have metasploitable on so let's see okay i already have metasploitable on guys so if you guys don't know how to set it up watch out my other video tutorials i'll leave a link in the description also if you don't know how to set up nasus that part will be in that video too and just watch out all the video tools if you haven't watched them yet. So I'm just going to log in with my credentials. It's by default, it's MSF admin for all of us. So let's clear this out and type in IF config because we're going to need the IP address of this machine. Okay, I can spell config apparently. Okay, guys, this is the IP address of our machine. So the next thing you guys want to do is open up your web browsers and type in localhost colon 8834 again guys 8834 is the port that nasus listens to and this will start the web interface of nasus so type in https don't forget the s guys and type in colon slash slash localhost colon 8834 and hit enter you guys will be prompted with this screen you may get an initialization screen just wait for it to initialize and it may download some extra plugins after that you will be prompted with this screen just log in with your credentials and hit enter okay guys this is the screen you'll be prompted to next this is a very clear and cut interface i quite frankly love it because it feels like home and it's very easy to navigate so what you guys want to do is click on new scans and scroll down so these are all the policies that are available of course these ones are only for the pro version of nasus so we can't use it so let's just click on Groot, and we'll be using this one so when you click on this, the first thing you're going to be prompted with is the name. So just put the name of the scan you're putting. So I'm going to just put Metasploitable description. Put in the description, guys. So here's one thing that I want to tell you guys is that when you're actually scanning a whole enterprise or actually doing some work for some other organization, you actually want a detailed description. But this is just for tutorial purposes. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. So the next thing you guys can do is type in 192.168.180.128 that is the IP address of my Metasploitable and you guys can if this is a real world scenario you guys can just click slash and type in the whole freaking range of the IP addresses but this is only one machine so I'm just going to do that. Other thing you guys can do is add files and just browse to the directory where you want um, where you have kept your list of all the targets so i'm just going to close it because apparently i don't need it and hit save okay let me show you all the other options that we have it has schedule so you can enable scheduling uh see scheduling it will be more useful when you have to scan a particular target on some intervals because you don't want to get detected so and notifications you're gonna have to set up a smtp server for this to be honest i don't really like notifications because uh, not that I don't use it, but I use it very often and I don't want to go through all the hassle of setting up an SMTP server. So I'm just going to go to basic and all the things are in the right order. I'm just going to hit save. And there you go, guys. This is all the dates when the scan was last run. And I'm just going to hit launch. So what this is going to do... Is so how Nasus works is that uh, for Windows machines, it will check the registry files and see if there are any patches missing. So let's just wait for it to finish. By the time it finishes, I'm going to show you guys how Nasus actually works. So as you guys can see, it has already started to output some vulnerabilities. These results are actually quite quicker, but in the real world scenario, it may say take some time depending on the range of targets you are scanning. So just wait for it to finish and this might take around 20 minutes. So this is a very nice graphical user interface where you can see that these see the blue part is all the information. So this is basically performing all the scans that we set up our that that we set up in our 
previous policy making so here you guys can see we have Microsoft Samba servers running on the particular port and you guys can see so we have port 445 TCP CFs and all the good stuff so let's just back up and what you guys are looking for is actually all the things that are not blue apparently so we're getting kind of racist over here so what you guys can see that uh, DNS case snooping uh, okay see this separate the usually the results of this vulnerability scan will be according to the severity but you can just put the plugin name but I like it this way so this is it guys uh, I suppose this will be finished very soon and this is the percentage of how much the target is left so 2% is scanned and 98% is left so let's just wait for it to finish I'm probably gonna mute my mic now <laughs> and just listen to some nice jazz and wait for it to finish so I'll see you guys in around all right guys the scan is finished now what we're gonna do is just see how this how the results are so when you're scanning an organization or you're just being rogue and just scanning a particular website or you just want to hack or have fun with these criticals highs and mids are gold to be honest in a real world situation because this will most probably bring the site down or get you access to the servers so let's just see what we have over here so this is the Debian open SSH uh, package random number generator weakness the remote SSH host has been generated on a Debian Ubuntu system which contains the bug in the random system generator it, of its open SSL library the problem due to the Debian package manager removing all the unnecessary so what you guys can do is okay if you guys don't know how to actually search for a vulnerability even if you have found it just come over here and see where the CVE number of this vulnerability so apparently the CVE number is 208 and copy it and just paste it so what you guys can do is type the CVE number and type in exploit database and hit enter okay I did spell database wrong and here you can get the exploit for the particular vulnerability so let's just wait for the page to load and the best part about Nasus is that guys it will tell you about the vulnerability in quite some detail so as you guys can see it explains how you how the vulnerability works and what is the solution of this so even when you're auditing a particular website or a particular organization you will have an assistant sort of at your site so let's move on to this and this is the particular web uh, this is the particular exploit guys and you can just download it or copy draw one thing I would recommend that uh, when you're copying such exploits what you guys want to do is at least try to read the code because I have often downloaded some exploit blindly and what happens is that instead of attacking the remote machine that I'm tr actually trying to attack it will attack my system as well and it will send my data or my shell to some other remote attacker so you guys don't want that so just take a look at all the code and uh, maybe just take a look at the whole program itself and see if you can figure out how the whole thing is coded it will help you understand the vulnerability better and what you guys can do is just download the particular exploit and it is a python file I guess yes it is so save and let's open the particular folder downloads open terminal let me get system privileges alright I'm root now so let's see uh, python 5720.py and hit enter this should prompt us with all the how you have to actually use a particular exploit so that's it for today's video guys I was only going to show you how you have to actually use a particular vulnerability scanner in the next video we're actually going to be exploiting the metasploitable and this time we're going to use metasploit of course and watch out for that video guys it's going to be very interesting so thank you guys for watching i hope you liked it if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of us we upload every freaking day which is kind of exhausting but i do it for you guys so show your support and thank you guys for watching see ya